Hello, everybody. I'm Henry Lee. <coughs> now I'm going to carve uh, two seals for Masha, my um, student and friend, um, who's an artist. Um, the um, seal for for her um, one is an image seal, and one is an artist name seal. Let's go. Um, the image seal first. Uh, image seal in Chinese is called xiao xing, meaning portrait image seal. Xiao xing yin, or portrait image seal. Um, but actually, uh, it's uh, it's not the personal uh, portrait. It's more com most commonly is like a, a zodiac image, for example. Uh, this horse I did uh, for a, another artist um, daughter actually my friend uh, his daughter is a, is a young calligrapher um, so this is for um, a uh, beginning seal in function uh, but it carries the um, Zodiac symbol of the person who received this, who used this. Uh, so a zodiac image is uh, um, very common, or anything uh, that reflects the user's personality or character. Uh, in this case, Masha has designed herself a uh, brook trout for her image seal. Um, you can see she used the pen, uh, pen, pen or pencil, outlined the uh, design uh, with my carving in mind. You know, uh, so I scan it. Uh, I I just uh, take it to Photoshop, and uh, by the way, this is the previous design I did with the horse. Let's just go back a little bit. This is the yin and the yang. Um, style. So we, um, I scanned it. This is what uh, I got from the uh, original drawing. So I just filled in the double lined contour. Um, this actually will look very uh, small. You know, this is the size. So if we carve it on the stone, this, the red it's very uh, little, actually, if you use outline style. So you have to broaden it. And besides the detail, it becomes like pixel big on the uh, positive carving style like that. So uh, if, if I do, I have to broaden the uh, width of the lines to make it uh, doable. Uh, it will look like this, okay? So, um, alternatively, we can do something uh, like this, a, a negative uh, linear um, image. Uh, you can also fill in the, the fish, you know, make it the fish white and with uh, positive uh, details, like the dots in, in dark. Uh, I didn't do that effect, but that's uh, another option with in our uh, negative carving. But we decided to go this to do the opposite of this. So this is a solo way of the fish with a negative uh, negative carving details. So positive profile with negative details. This is what we will do. And uh, let me see. Yeah, you, you can see the seal. I think maybe I can make it a little bigger. Let me see. Um, so the, the stone is in, in a, in a uh, natural shape. Measurement is not very precise, but I think it's good. To, so we can leave a little room between the edge and the fish. So I'm not going to enlarge the fish see. I'll just besides we need to cut the 
edge to make it uh, into a slope, kind of rounded edge, not a uh, flat, sharp edge. So it's like relief carving. They're always a little bit uh, adjustment in the final stage. But, uh, let me see if it will work. Everything is mirrored. Okay. So I I use the process to transfer my design from the computer graphics to the stone. With this uh, acetone remover or nail polish remover, you can get from any art, uh, cosmetic supply stores or hardware stores. There's a pen, paint remover also. But the cosmetic store uh, sells in smaller bottle, I think. Instead of buying a whole lot, you can use a little bit. Just, but with no scent, make sure there's no scent in it or anything else, just 100% pure acetone. It evaporates very quickly, so before it gets dry, you should get the image. Well, I missed a little bit. Um, yeah, see, it's flipped, so it looks uh, different. I think we got that and I sometimes I got some you know heavy accident which I like. Um, so I can modify a little bit the I have I do have this uh, mirrored image um, in my on, on the paper so I can compare. I see what's missing there. So the the mouse need to be you know, Building there, so I can just paint it. This this little upper lip. The teeth is is only a dot, uh, a pixel, large. So it's very uh, the loss of dots. Although the designer may have uh, worked hard on placing them. But as you can see, on the stone, it's very... Um, I have to take my liberty to do that. It's very small. Um, so I will try to follow the designer as close as possible, but I don't have to. I will... This is like a second uh, creation. Okay, let's do that. Thank you, Rufina. Let me let me see if I can bring Marsha on uh, from Facebook. Um, let me see if I can do this. I have to open another window, I think. Forgive me if I am too slow. This is a live broadcast. If you have any questions, I'll give you response. There's a 30 seconds delay, but uh, um, you know, it's it's live. My channel. Let me see if I I'm uh, there. Okay, great. Um, so I can share it on Facebook. So more. What's the issue with photo watching? backup? Well, for the most part. Oops. Share on Facebook. I 
track of her. Anyway, so let's see how submit. How do I submit? Oh, post. Okay, did it. All right. <coughs> We've got nine people watching, and that's good. So I will use uh, different sizes of a chisel or carving knife. You can, you can see some maybe just for the dart. But most commonly, I just use one medium size. <coughs> I always uh, start from the, the, the edge. Okay, this is a difficult uh, stone to put on this clamp. Let's round it. It's kind of unstable. It's hard to fix it. Can you see it? Can you just focus a little more? Reference. Okay. This is the mirror image, same as. Oh, you can see that on the um, on the on the left lower left, but there's a positive. Uh, in the final uh, print we wish to get. Oh, yeah, that's a planned chip. The breaking, uh, breaking the the border. So I just cut around the, the shape of the fish first, let's see. And then I'll just scoop out the background, I think. Try to honor the original design as close as I can. I want to make the fish happier so it curves up, not down. Otherwise, it will look angry. Right? Do the teeth just like that? Oh, I think I make a the jar too thin. Hmm. Well, <coughs> I think I'm going to take a chance. Just continue to carve it, uh, and then I will I will lower the stone a little bit to fix that.
Also, you know, when you make a stamp, you put something soft under it, and uh, if you press harder, the line will become thicker. So usually the line is thicker. The stroke is thicker than you think. I wish I got lots of lost and found lines on the border. It should not look like stiff. It should look old and used. Vintage kind of, or antiquarian, antique like. Okay, and there's, uh, let me see. I can work on the detail or just uh, do the flooring. Um, let's just do the detail maybe. Fish tail. There's a Calligraphy stroke, like lift and the pressing. Okay, I'll use a smaller, smaller knife for the eye. Instead of turning my hand, I just turn the stone to get that round. I do want it to leave a little pupil inside. Maybe not possible. Anyway, cannot even see it. I don't see the line where. Try not to repeat. Year kind of so this will be just one stroke. Here. Rounded dots on the body is good rhythm. Some, some longer lines like it. 
started the line. You try to find the patterns and you, you have a continuous in the, in the design continuity. to use my imagination can really rely on my eyes. You gotta trust your heart feeling. pattern on the body is done. Let me scoop out the background now. Oops. Try to <laughs> control the slippery. Just better towards the center of the empty space. Actually, my my camera is off the picture. I didn't realize. Sorry. Hard to clip. So.
Okay, you don't have to make an initial imprint. You can put a, a mirror under it, that would be a very, you know, sharp copy, but uh, practically we normally put a, a rubber or a, a heart against this soft. It's not a rubber stamp, but a rubber paddy. I blow a little bit moisture to the, to the um, surface, so it will reduce um, the grain. You can wave a little bit. No. Not very clean, so let me clean that up. So <laughs> it's uh, really it depends on the effect. The, the uh, some the stroke uh, between strokes it's a shallow. Some large areas so you can see require deeper cut to make it clean. So as long as you don't see those dots, unwanted dots, you're fine. Um, so maybe you cannot really see what happened with the mouth. It seems okay, so I won't touch that. Just clean up the background. So just do some deeper cut. If I need, I can erase a little bit to uh, partially redo the details or some, you know adjustment. So deeper background is always preferred.
make a make a sharp copy see if it works. There's a heart there's a heart padding here glass. So it's a hard to hard. Well, <laughs> guess the the stone is not perfectly flat. So you might you know you see this, uh, uh, but it makes a very interesting rubbing kind of effect. Um, <coughs> let's just do another one. You could put a thin book or magazine if that's the, the best result. <clears throat> Try not to hit the the, the uh, ceramic. It might hurt the stroke.
I think that's it. That's the best I can do, I think. Let me make an official imprint. This is another image seal, it's a bear. Just the profile. Here's the horse I did earlier. It's a zodiac it's symbol or image seal. The image seal basically uh, has image, no words. scam course all the time. Don't answer it. Actually, I like to see how it looked like uh, vertically. This is how I would use on the painting. It's very hard to place to place the seal horizontally in a painting. I I never seen one actually. So 
Masha, you might use it uh, vertically, I think. Although you design it horizontally, I think it, it, it looks better vertically on the painting because all the painting uh, signature goes vertically. Right? Let's see how it looks like. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> it's just different uh, angle makes a great uh, you know, difference. Okay, I'll take a short break and come back for another seal uh, for Marsha's uh, um, artist name. Little Nino fish. Xiao Tao Hua Yu in Chinese. Okay, see you in about uh, five minutes. I also cut the signature on the, I think in this case on this side. The year of, uh, year of pick is the my first year. By the way, my birthday is coming up this uh, Friday, I think. So um, I'm going to charge five dollar more for for my carving design uh, service. Um, every five year, I raise five dollars. So if you plan to have uh, have your personal personalized name seal carved. To it is now. I'll put. I have a link uh, in the in the video description. You can place the order. So currently, I charge 155 for the design and carving. As you can see, it takes a lot of time. The the, the design itself uh, uh, takes a long time, and then the carving. So this. Um, Price will go up by five dollar uh, next week, and uh, if you use the YouTube viewers uh, discount code YouTuber uh, with capital U, a capital Y and capital T, and end with R YouTuber. We'll see you a bit. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.